Good morning, scholars. Today we're going to read, I'm Trying to Love Spiders, chock full of amazing arachnid facts. Peacock spider displays a colorful fan on its abdomen and waves its arms, third pair of legs, to attract a mate. Camel spider, not actually a spider, but an arachnid called a solifugid. Spiny-backed orb weaver has six pointy spines. Trapdoor spider builds tiny trapdoors to catch prey. Seriously! Wolf spider carries its babies around on its abdomen. Bird dung crab spider hides in plain sight by looking like bird poop. Yuck! Happy face spider has a happy face pattern on its back. So cute! St. Andrew's Cross Spider rests in the shape of an X. Patu Digwa Spider, world's smallest spider. I'm trying to love spiders. It isn't easy. Words and Pictures by Bethany Barton. I keep telling myself spiders are cool. I want to love them. Me plus spiders forever. I mean, spiders have been around for millions of years, moving silently, swinging into action. I want to think of them like bug ninjas. Like this spider right here. I'm going to try really hard to like him. Maybe if I study him for a while. I think it's working. Ah, it's moving. Squish it, squish it, squish it. That didn't work out, but next time will be better. Next time, I'll focus on all the cool superpowers spiders have, like eight eyes. And spider webs. Spiders spin webs out of protein-packed spider silk they make themselves. That's like you or me building a house with our hair, and then catching food on it. Some spiders even have billions of tiny hairs called scopulae on their legs that let them stick on walls or ceilings or... Oh my gosh! There's a spider stuck on there! Smash it! Squish it! Get it right now! We're not very good at loving spiders just yet. If only spiders were more like things I really love, like burritos and soccer and rocket ships. Instead, their closest relatives are also totally gross. Arachnid family reunion. There's a scorpion and a tick. But it's not like I'm scared of every icky thing. It's just something about spiders. Maybe it's the fact that almost all spiders are venomous. Spiders can't chew very well, much like your baby sister. They need liquid foods. Since no one's invented a tiny spider-sized blender, spiders rely on their venom to dissolve their dinners, making bugs soft and slurpable. But, to be fair, while there are about 40,000 known species of spider, only a few can bite humans, and even fewer can harm you with their venom. Wanted dead or smashed a lot. Female black widow, brown recluse, for being poisonous enough to ruin your day. Fatal spider bites are so rare. You have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't panic, but there is definitely a spider over there. And we're not going to squish it this time, right? We'll just try to pet him, maybe? Can you pet spiders? Let's try. Whoops, nope, we squished him. I'm never gonna love spiders at this rate. Maybe I should focus on what spiders are good at. Like eating bugs. That's gonna be helpful, right? A single spider can eat over 75 pounds of bugs in a year. 75 pounds of bugs, 75 pounds of dog. 
I've even heard that some farmers use spiders to keep harmful insects out of their crops. And, oh wait, looks like some of those bugs made it over here. Get out of here, bugs! I can't even read my book with all these! Hey, what's that spider doing? Wow, thanks, little guy. That was really impressive. Spider presents for you. Aw, did you make that for me? I think I might finally love... Ah, cockroach, squish it, smash it, make it go away! One thing at a time. I hope you guys enjoyed that story, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!